Hey guys, welcome back. So this video is to follow up on what Alex uh, showed you before in the, um, in the first video on uh, how to stack modifiers on a, on a pro proxy mesh that has got um, the, um, that is receiving the, um, uh, the out mesh from, uh, from a control mesh. And um, I will show you how to script that and also on how to add um, a poly extrude uh, modifier, um, a poly extrude that it doesn't screw up the mesh when when we edit it. So here I just uh, lay down all the steps in uh, comments. This is something that I usually do when when I know uh, when I got a sequence of uh, uh, of things that I have, that I have to do and I want to script. I just uh, put the comments with all, all, all the steps and then I fill in with the code. Um, so if you are new to Python, there is one video that I did before and is a bas basic introduction that it's gonna cover the basic. So just if you get lost, just reference that video. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get started. And the first thing that we have to do, of course, is to import the Maya commands. And then now as I uh, wrote in the comment, I have to get the selected object. And as, as we saw in the first video, um, to get the selected object, I uh, just have to uh, create a variable first. And then I have to use the Maya command fnds.ls uh, and then use the flag ls equal true. Um, no, sl equal true. And now I get the selected object. So now I have to duplicate the object. And I'm just gonna create another variable called duplicated. And uh, use the Maya command uh, duplicate. And uh, of course I have to pass the selected object as a, one of the arguments. And then <clears throat> I'm gonna also give it a new name. So I'm just gonna use uh, n equal, and here I'm gonna use the the format that we saw in the in the introduction video, and I'm gonna call it uh, underscore uh, proxy, and then gonna put the format, and then pass selected. So basically, it's gonna name uh, the new object whatever is the, the name of the selected object plus underscore proxy. And so now we have to find the shape node. So there is one thing that I wanna show you on uh, because it might be not clear for, uh, um, for people who are just new or for beginners and they're just learning Maya. So when, when I select something in Maya, um, what I'm selecting actually is a, is a node that it's called the transform node, but um, I'm not accessing the, the polygons or whatever it can, can be nerves or um, um, those, all this information is usually stored in another object that is called the shape node. And um, so the transform is just gonna handle the position of the object in the space and the visibility and I guess some other things too. But if I want to access the polygons, I mean the, the geometry, I have to get into the shape node. So the shape node is is basically, um, is parented to the transform node. And we can see that in a, so in a, in a hierarchy, just um, clicking on uh, shapes. And uh, now I can see that uh, the shape node is underneath the transform node. So <clears throat> in order to do that in, uh, in Python, uh, we have to use um, the same command that we use to, um, to get uh, either the parent or the children of a, of a, to get the elements in a hierarchy. So, and it's called, the, the name of the command is called list relative. 
So first thing that we have to do, we have to get, uh, we have to create a variable, which is called, which we're gonna call uh, selected uh, underscore um, shape, and I'm uh, gonna use list relatives, and then I'm gonna pass, of course, the me the transform, which is going to be selected zero so this is the transform node and then as an as a flag I'm gonna put shape equals true and this is going to return the shape node well it's gonna return a list of shape nodes so um, uh, we will see later why there's a list um, but let, let's leave it for now so <clears throat> Uh, now let's get the same since we have to connect the in mesh and the out mesh we need the, the shape of the duplicated node so I can just copy this line uh, name this body du duplicated underscore shape and then here of course I have to pass duplicated and now I have to create the connection so the connection the Maya command is a, a connect arch and then I'm gonna use still the format so here I'm gonna pass the shape node and I have to connect the in mesh to the out mesh so in dot in mesh and then I'm gonna use format and pass uh, the selected shape and then comma and then as a second um, as a second argument I have to put the element that I'm going to connect so it's out mesh okay now it's the other way around so as this out mesh has to go into the in mesh so okay and then have to uh, apply the poly extrude so the command to do the poly extrude is um, poly extrude yeah okay it's this one in case you guys do not remember what's the name of the Maya command what you can do is just uh, select the object then uh, extrude the face and um, where is it? and then the command is gonna show up in the, in the history okay so I'm gonna of course pass the duplicated object and then I gonna give it a little bit of uh, thickness so the the flag for the thickness is LTZ and then equal 0 0.1 uh, and this should do so let's see what happens if I run the script so I got the proxy here and now what happens if I delete phases gets working but if I extrude phases yeah it's working done okay so <clears throat> now there is one more thing that I find it a bit annoying and is that when I select the object and I and I run the script I'm in a 
I mean polygon I mean I'm I got the faces selected and I do not have the proxy selected so what we're gonna do we're gonna make him select the duplicated object so select uh, object and cms dot uh, select and there you go so let's see what happens when I run this okay cool perfect it's working so now we have this script what we can do we can just select it and then with the I think with the middle click we can just drag it into a shell and now uh, every time I want to create a proxy I just have to click on the shell and I have it all right cool uh, then you guys can try to uh, use the same with um, and uh, use a different uh, stack a different modifier uh, if you yeah if you wanna uh, experiment a little bit uh, then I guess at one point we're gonna learn how to create a function and we're gonna separate this the extrusion and then the creation of the of the poly mesh of the um, of the proxy mesh into a function uh, so yeah that's we're just gonna start keeping it simple and then we will progress more and more with python so uh, if you like the video just uh, uh, hit the like and uh, subscribe to get the next one and thank you for listening i'll see you next time